One of the challenges we have today in the world is still remaining the fact that pornography is starting to drain men's understanding of women. You see, when people get addicted to porn, they start to get a warped sense of what is and isn't healthy in a relationship between a woman and a man, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or whatever your predilections are. I have no complaining on those things. What I have a complaint about completely is the abuse and overuse of porn. The reason I have it is because of the abuses I see coming into society of predatory behaviors and predatory games done by groups of men of ill will who could not get a woman on their own even if they tried. No offense, they just haven't learned the proper social graces to do so or they're too high in their mind that they should have to do so and that is immoral before the Lord. You see, we don't need more women to be abused by men. We don't need more women to be harmed in the intimate moments of sex. And sometimes men who are very big and strong can be overzealous in those intimate moments. Sometimes men who are smaller and more gentle can also be abused by women. But we're not going to talk about human sexuality here. What we are talking about is the abuse of women. The abuse of women or the abuse of anyone in the area of love making is not okay. There are different ways in which the Lord might help a couple to regenerate, to recoup, to regain their loving relationship. But at the same time, abuse is never a part of that. A healthy relationship is always thinking about how do I serve you, how do I care for you, how do I love you, how do I prepare you, how do I talk to you, how do I communicate with you, and how do I ensure that our moments of time that are intimate are just as perfect as they can be.